What's up everybody, it's me Greg Miller from the IGN PlayStation team here to give you your video preview of Rock Band Unplugged. I know what you're thinking, Rock Band on the PSP? What? Yeah, it doesn't make much sense, but it's not like you think. There's no mini drum set or mini guitar to plug into your PSP. This is strictly a single player affair that you're going to play with the face buttons of your PSP. You're going to have the same four tracks, vocal, guitar, drums, bass, and notes are going to be falling as they go and you'll be hitting the face buttons along with the groove. The twist comes is that you're going to have to use the left and right triggers to jump from track to track. You'll be playing a specific track, you'll nail everything in there to nail this phrase, and when you complete that one, there'll be a bit of dead space. That means you have to jump to the next instrument, do it all over again. Chain together a bunch of phrases, you get a band groove, and get a whole bunch of bonus points. Sure, you're switching around and there's no crazy accessories, but this is still very much the rock band experience. As you're playing, you'll be building an overdrive meter, or star power, depending on what camp you come from. And you can deploy this by hitting the X button, which of course, you know, amplifies your stats and can save any track that's fell out of the game. Sticking with that tried and true Rock Band formula, this one has World Tour mode in it. It's a lot like the Wii or PS2 version we saw in Rock Band 2. There's 24 cities for you to play on through. You get to create every member of your team, except you can't create logos or tattoos. Still, you'll play the gigs in the city, move on to the next one, amass fans and points, and be awesome. Outside of World Tour is Warm Up mode, where you just pick one instrument, play an entire song as that one track. And along for the ride is survival mode. This time, all the tracks are going. Usually when you're playing right, there's going to be dead spaces when you can switch around and ignore a certain instrument. Here, every track has something happening on it, so you have to go around as fast as you can and keep everyone from failing. There are going to be 41 songs on this UMD. None of them are exclusive to this version, while the rest are, you know, DLC and Rock Band 2 hits you probably love. But there is going to be some DLC specifically for the PSP. Speaking of DLC, the music store we all know and love is coming to Sony's Portable. At launch, there'll be 10 songs up for you to purchase, and after that, content's going to be coming on a somewhat regular basis, but not the weekly affair we see on the console versions. So yeah, this is my first time actually getting to play Rock Band Unplugged on the PSP, and it seems like a lot of fun. I'm actually looking forward to it for my train rides to work. If you're looking forward to it, keep it tuned to IGN.com for all the latest previews, and look for the game on June 9th. <laughs>